A beautiful day, the first official weekend in October, closer to seasonal today as indicated with our tide hotspot, so to speak. The last single digit on the 0 to 10 scale, 9 degrees Celsius, was tied at both Matheson and New York Falls. 8 degrees, 7 degrees for the rest of the broadcast region. Everyone enjoyed overcast to partly cloudy to, as best as we can do, fair skies. But it was mostly, mostly cloudy and partly cloudy across the entire broadcast region, which is why I did not bring on any templates for the afternoon observations because they were the same pretty much everywhere across the region. This is a City Hall webcam shot taken at 3.14 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy conditions. There's the summit of Canada Scotia Ski Hill, which the Tibbins Flight Service relies on for hourly and special weather observations. As long as they can see Canada Scotia, that's good. Six statute miles prevailing visibility. The same goes for Canada, or sorry, the Kid Creek Mineshaft, north northeast of Tibbins, as well as the McIntyre Mineshaft in Schumacher. Satellite picture from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. There's some dense cloud cover showing up on the satellite picture, but the weather conditions observed at Sioux Lookout, Thunder Bay, Dryden, Geraldton, Kenora are all the same thing as Northeast Ontario. Temperatures just below 10 degrees, fair skies, broken clouds, that's pretty much it. In fact, south of the Canada-US border, it looks a lot better. It looks like there's more sunny skies than what we have in Northeast Ontario. There's also a stubborn low pressure system crossing over Southern Ontario that will not have a bearing on us today, tonight, nor tomorrow, but we are looking ahead at some rainfall. We'll talk about that more later on. First of all, all day today, variable winds, just a trickle of a breeze from all directions, that's it. Barometer starts off this morning at 30.24 or 102.4 kilopascals. Nothing in bird's eye view, systems-wise, across Northeast Ontario. Very easy, workable weather day. By this evening, what do we say about the winds? They're pretty much the same thing. They're actually pretty variable to calm. Well, we can see the ice so is starting to populate over northwest Ontario. This is going to be southwest winds developing soon. As we can tell that the barometer is falling, that means we are keeping a close eye on the weather disturbance coming in that could affect us for Tuesday and Wednesday.